Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbinalcoins.com for the cheapest and fastest coins anywhere. Use code ZERK for 15% off your order. And if you guys want to compete in tournaments for cash prizes, make sure to check out tourneycrypt.com. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we have actually got ourselves a new game mode, entirely new game mode in Madden 20. Now of course, if you guys may have noticed if you went to like the game store, you looked at the game itself, the colors of it changed like yesterday. Today they actually dropped an update, so if you guys are having an update right now in Madden, this is why. There is an entirely new game mode out called Superstar KO and I gotta say it's pretty awesome. Not only is it awesome, but you can also earn yourself Madden Ultimate Team rewards in here. I believe not this season, but whenever they update the next season for it. Now, of course, EA did actually release a blog. So I'm going to go ahead, go over that blog for you guys. It goes over everything to do with this game mode. So EA actually released a blog on this going over the new Superstar KO event. So as you guys can see, Kralo is here. Welcome back to another installment of Madden 20's Gridiron Notes. For those that knew the Gridiron Notes, Gridiron Notes is where we keep you up to date with the latest Madden 20 news. We already know about that. Let's go ahead and get right into it. So of course, they have some stuff from the developers. We'll get into what it actually is. So what is Superstar KO? Superstar KO is a brand new online eliminator mode for Madden 20. It is a celebration of football, a game that combines Superstar X Factors, custom rules, and unique teams with a new, unique stadium and commentary style to provide a brand new play experience you can't get anywhere else. It is all about fast to fun gameplay where every play matters in games that can last from 30 seconds to 10 minutes. It always presents you interesting choices, whether it be about how you build your team or how you overcome or take advantage of mismatches. But most of all, it is just fun. We've been working on this for any secret for a while, and at the cat's out of the bag, the entire team can't wait to play with you. So as you guys can see, this is what it actually will look like. You see players are actually already activating their X factors. It looks like this game is actually in overtime, and it's unique. There's different uh, uniforms, there's different stadiums as well. To get to shorter games, we combine the house rules tech been working on for the past year to create gameplay rules to make sure every play matters. You'll each get a chance to score in Phase 1, Superstar OT, and if you are still tied, you can settle the score in a brand new house rule called Tug of War. The play on the field is dominated by Superstar X Factors. You've given a few to start as well as the chance to earn or steal more. But best of all, the X Factors are active from the very first play. If you wanted to see the full power of the NFL's best superstar KO is the place. Finally, they all come together on eight brand new teams developed exclusively for Superstar X. Oh, RKO. They have custom playbooks and rosters that give each team a unique flavor. From the air it out style of Dot City to the defensive mastery of Shutdown, each playbook is created to have strengths and weaknesses that create interesting mismatches and situations. As you guys can see right there, there's Superstar KO. Superstar KO takes place in a custom designed stadium. Like a festival for the best football on the planet is an undisclosed location where players with the X Factors today meet the legends of yesterday and maybe even more iconic superstars as well. Calling the action is our DJ and announcer Trey Mo, who stays on top of the game but makes sure you know exactly what everyone is doing. And that's basically it. Finally, you can expect to keep updating Superstar KO as the year progresses. We get a bunch of new rules, players, and ideas that will keep the game fresh. But first, Let's get into how you play. So how do you play Superstar KO? Once you come into Superstar KO, you have the choice. You can play 1v1, 2v2, or 3v3. Each queue is unique and you will match up with players or with others who are playing with the same number of players. For solos, just click the play button. Squads will play once everyone is invited or matchmaking with is ready. Next up is time to pick your team. So here are the teams. The KO teams, of course, you have the base team. Uh, picking teams in KO is like picking your character in a fighting game. Next up, we've got Jennifer Walter, which looks like her passing offense is going to be one. Her rushing offense is one, but she does have four for rushing defense and four for passing defense as well. We also have DJ Khaled, so interesting there. He's got a three for passing offense, one for passing defense. Uh, two for rushing offense and a four for rushing defense as well. We also have Little Yachty, which he has a four for passing offense, a three for passing defense and rushing offense, and a one 
for rushing defense. So very interesting there. There's also Antonio Brown, or actually, no, I guess now is when we get to the most. So there are three types of players in the drafting round. Superstar, X-Factors, Legends, and Icons. So as you guys can see, it looks like you actually get to go ahead and basically like draft players uh so there's antonio brown george kittle big men and then there's philip rivers superstar x factors legends and icons the superstar x factors are the names you know from today's nfl players who can change the complexion of the game on a dime all 50 x factors from madden nfl 20 are available at random during the draft they are joined by legends and icons this can be pretty interesting here you guys can see here each player has a rarity level, like what you might see in a Battle Royale game, like Apex Legends. Common players just have their Superstar X-Factor ability and don't have a special color associated with them. Players with big blue outline are rare players. They have an X-Factor plus a couple of Superstar abilities to spice things up. Purple players are ultra rare. They have an X-Factor and even more abilities that can change the game. Finally, you have gold legendary players. Legends and icons make up this group, but sometimes an X-Factor could achieve legendary status. Alongside an X-Factor, this group of players have an enormous amount of passive abilities that can dominate a game but beware they are not invincible so look for counters that can stop them in the track now you're ready to end the game and become a superstar so of course here there is the superstar ot it's kind of like the same thing if you guys have played house rules you start from the 25 you know first player to score uh if you score and your opponent doesn't you win the game if you both score then you go into overtime stuff like that just go for two every single time my personal opinion uh this is the new tug of war though you guys can see here tug of war remember tug of war from ea sports ncaa football 14 players start at the 50 yard line and take turns alternating plays on offense until they score or plays run out after the plays round whoever is closest to their opponent's end zone wins in superstar ko at launch each team will have three plays on offense to move the ball in the right direction once those plays and or a touchdown to score the game is over so as you guys can see winning losing ko levels and rewards you won your first game of superstar ko congratulations your next step is to draft another superstar to add to your team okay so every win it looks like you actually get a new player to add to your team that's pretty cool these rounds will be random just like earlier until you fill out three players on offense and three on defense except this time you might notice the free agent tag these are players from your team you just defeated if you notice your opponent had an ultra rare Khalil Mack that'd be perfect for your defense steal them free agents are only shown if you have a spot in your roster for them so if you've already chosen a superstar qb you won't see another one in future rounds you must stay with the guys you bring on the field in superstar ko once you've drafted again you're right back into the action and playing another game now of course uh, if you win four games in a row you are considered undefeated champs and receive an awesome xp bonus if you lost here you can see you can't take your eyes off the screen in ko or something bad will happen but don't worry nothing bad happens to you just jump right back into a game pick a team and draft a new set of superstars you're only seconds away from starting over and getting another shot at glory get back in there now of course here you guys can see when you play superstar ko you receive xp that contributes to your ko level all games are new xp but wins get you bonuses including a great bonus for going 4-0 and becoming undefeated champs your ko level is bragging rights in ko how high can you push that number every week you have a chance to earn an ultimate team reward by playing superstar ko these are only once a week and can't be repeated but they are a great way to build up a mutt roster and check out the variety of gameplay experiences that we have in madden ultimate team we are launched superstar ko as a beta for the first season while we've done in extensive play tests in the studio and baltimore peaks and i'd like to admit we want your feedback superstar ko has a massive team effort and honestly i, I kind of like this so i think that's all from ea and uh yeah pretty nice so as you guys can see, as of right now, there actually is an event in here to go ahead and earn yourself something for Madden Ultimate Team. If you gain 10,000 XP, you get yourself an 83 overall OBJ. So I'm really hoping they intend to, you know, increase that. But I think this promo actually has some really, really cool stuff to do with it. Not just promos in general, but just the new game mode you can see you can go in one by one you can go in by two by twos uh three by threes you can see here we have our base team it does a little countdown here and then we're going to be able to go ahead and pick whatever team i personally want to go with so i think honestly for the first one i mean passing offense passing defense rushing offense i feel like rushing defense is pretty important but i honestly think i'm going to go with I think I'm going to go with the balanced one, right? I mean, there's really no point in going with this one unless you just want to have the RPOs. And stuff. I think I'm going to go with the balanced offensive playbook here. I just want to show you guys this little draft or whatever. And as you guys can see right here, pick offense. So here we get to pick my offensive players. So we have Zach Ertz. Uh, we have 
Mike Evans, Alvin Kamara, or Drew Brees. Personally, I'm going to go with Zach Ertz there. Get that double knee ability on him. Remember, this is not ultimate team. This is actually using the play now head-to-head -head, uh, type teams, I'm pretty sure. So next is going to be OBJ, or I can go with Russell Wilson, Saquon Barkley, or I can go with Big Ben. I'm definitely going with Saquon Barkley in this scenario. So I already have one really, really good offense player and a wide receiver. Next up, we get to pick a defensive player. Um, I'm personally going to go with Khalil Mack because Mack is just so dang good. And he's a 99 overall, so why would you not want to go with the 99 overall Khalil Mack there? And you guys can see now we're going to hop into our first match. And here you can see my top three versus my opponent's top three. He took OBJ, he's got Mack, and he also has Jalen Ramsey. So if we win this game, that means I can go ahead and take his Jalen Ramsey or I can take his OBJ. So you guys can see out of this playbook here, I only have three, four, four, three dollar and nickel normal, and my team consists of not that great of players. <laughs> it looks like Khalil Mack's actually only a 90 overall as well, so pretty interesting there, and you don't really have a lot of plays, but you guys can see Khalil Mack is actually already activated, and he, of course, can be coming and screaming. Now, over there to the left side, there is, of course, Odell, I believe, one-on-one. -on -one. My opponent's going to be running a little Wildcat option here, a little sweep to Amari Cooper. Good play. I'm really just trying to get Khalil Mack to do some work here. Second and six, got to watch out for the flats, of course. feel like he's going to do like some sort of motion here with Dalvin Cook to that left side, which he actually is. I don't think it's going to be an actual screen, which it isn't. Watching out for the slants. Nothing seems too open. Going to the corner. Demarius Randall coming up with the pick. So it's a little bit weird here. But you guys can see, right? I don't even have a field goal option. So I can't even kick a field goal. I don't know if it's just specific to this playbook or in general, you can't kick a field goal in this game look i guess so but you guys see we are starting off now on the 25 yard line all the way back here i'm gonna try and run the ball here with saquon barkley hit the outside saquon showing off that speed hit a juke move there picking up a gain of five okay i mean i got saquon i have mike evans my offense is definitely very very good why not just chug it up to mike evans see if you can beat him deep mike evans with the toe tap all right, I'm at the one-yard line. Saquon Barkley, third and goal. Can we punch it in? I literally can't take a field goal here, so we have to score a touchdown. Saquon getting it for the TD, and that's the end of the game. So you guys can see we won 6 to nothing in that game, and now I get 1,000 XP alone just for that one game there. So we get to level up a couple times, and now I get to go ahead and pick someone on the defense side of the wall. So I get to add them now to my team because, of course... I won the game. And you can see here, Jalen Ramsey is a player that he had on his team. And I think I'm actually going to go with Jalen Ramsey because I want to have him. So now, I believe we have four Superstar X Factor players available to the squad. Now, I actually don't want to play this game, but I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, smack the like button, subscribe, and comment. You guys can see my opponent actually has Lawrence Taylor. So definitely not good there. Hope you guys enjoyed them. If you guys want to see some more gameplay, let me know down below. I'll see you guys next time.